Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to change the size and color of your Weebly social media icons. This uh, video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to the written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, here's a quick look at the demo site we'll be using for this tutorial. As you can see, there's some elements already in place here. All right, let's get started. Step one, drag and drop social icons element. So back into the Weebly editor here. All right, at the top, you're gonna to click on build and you're gonna scroll down until you find the social icons element. Grab that and just drop that right in your site. All right, there they are. And I'm just going to align them to the left. There we go. Step two, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Back into the Weebly editor, click on theme at the top, and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And that will give us access to Weebly's HTML CSS editor. There we go. Step three, find CSS code. Okay, there's one CSS class code that everyone should be looking for in this particular step. And that CSS class code is .wsite hyphen social hyphen item. Um, this CSS class code could be in your main CSS file. It could be in a file other than your main CSS file, or it may not be at all um, on the back end. You may actually have to add it into your main CSS file. So for this particular theme, this CSS class code that we need to look for is on the left under styles and in a file called underscore UI hyphen kit dot less. And I'm going to search for it real quick. Okay, and here it is. Scroll around my mouse isn't working. Let's see my highlight. So it's this entire code right here. All right. Step four, modify CSS code. Okay, so we're gonna do a few things to change the styling of our social media icons. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to change the font size of the social media icons to 2EM. The second thing we're gonna do is change their color to a pink color, which is this hex color code right here. Third thing we're gonna do is change the background color of the social media icons to white. And the fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to give the social media the, give the social media icons a little padding. And lastly, um, number five, we're going to change the hover styling color of the social media icons to a lime green color, which is defined by this hex color code right here. So I'm going to implement these changes, and the changes I'm going to implement are in orange here below. So I'm going to get started on that. I'm going to copy the color code because I never. I can't remember that. So back to the Weebly editor and let's implement these changes. So there's the color code I just copied. Font size we're changing to 2EM. We're going to give it a background color of white, which is six Fs. A padding, 0.5 EM. And box sizing, order box, and I'm going to grab the uh, the hex color code for the hover styling color. Okay, and I'm going to replace at fill with that code I just copied. All right, and click save. And there we go. The social media icons look quite different than when we first started. All right. So if you were unable to find this CSS class code anywhere on the back end of your Weebly site, um, you can actually add this CSS class code to your main CSS file. Um, if you're using a Weebly 4 generation theme, your C main CSS file is going to be called main.less. And if you're using a Generation 3 Weebly theme or prior, your main CSS file will be called main-styles.css. So if you scroll to the bottom of Step 4, you will see that there is a code provided for, um, for you to copy. 
paste into your CSS file if you were unable to find this CSS class anywhere on your Weebly site. So copy the code and go into your Weebly editor, then go back into the Weebly HTML CSS editor and um, for this particular theme, the CSS, the main CSS file, actually, you know what? I should undo the changes I did. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to undo the changes. Let me see. Let's do it to show you that um, this next step will actually uh, implement the same styling changes. So let me delete these real quick. The font style was 20px, and the fade was at fill. Hit save. And then to return the social media icons to the original, right? So look, there they are. Okay, so um, copy this code into step four. Go back into the Weebly editor. Go back into the HTML CSS editor. Click on your main CSS file. And for this theme, that is main.less. On the right, you're going to paste in the code you copied. If you see that red dot, just delete that. All right, now if I save this, this should give us the same, uh, just, this should apply the same styling cues that the original code, code, change, code changes did. So click save. There we go. Same exact uh, styling changes. All right, guys, so that is how you change the size and color of your Wheelie social media icons.